It's an, here's an amazing story politically. The Laborers International Union, been around for a long time, always been in effect an arm of the Democratic Party. Arthur Coya, the former head of it, very close friends with President Clinton. I mean, this is a Democratic union. They have come out four square against, uh, well, first Obamacare, but second, the president's foot dragging on the Keystone XL pipeline. Listen, this is Terry O'Sullivan, who's the head of the union, uh, and again, a lifelong Democrat. He says this, quote, uh, for the record, our union was among those that twice supported the Obama-Biden ticket, and we continue to support many of the president's initiatives. But that does not negate our right and obligation to speak out when, because of politics, the administration fails to stand up for working people and the men and women we represent. In other words, the Keystone XL pipeline will create jobs for their members, and because of pressure from a tiny group of rich environmentalists, the administration is quashing it. Yeah, job security, it's going to gonna potentially get us uh, energy independent uh, if it finally goes through. It's already been six years, folks, and this, this, uh, this decision that was made by the president to delay this until potentially after midterms was, was dropped on Good Friday, if you'll remember. But, um, you know, the other thing about this is what message is this sending to Canada, our northern ally? What message is this sending to Vladimir Putin? Uh, you know, uh, is this a message of weakness? And how does delay help America? Mr. O'Sullivan said it best. He suggested quote, that the Obama administration grow a set of antlers or take a lesson from Popeye and eat some spinach, unquote. Antlers and spinach, prescription for America. Well, it just says everything. The president has a choice. You can help your buddies in Hollywood who are mad about the pipeline because of environmental, theoretical environmental concerns, or you can help people who actually work for a living. And who does he side with? Well, Hollywood. it seems like, you know, uh, White House is saying, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not going to give you any energy. Amen. Well,